So coming to a comfortable seated position, light our candle today, honoring and welcoming in spring. Spring has sprung. It's upon us. Hearing all the birds outside and watching them nest, nature bounding, flowers flowering. Feel free to allow the eyes to close if you'd like. Or bring the eyes down to a spot on the floor that's not moving. Allow the body to just settle here. Settle. Feel the heaviness of the body. Feel the earth quality of the body. That heaviness, that grounded in the hips and the thighs. Allow the shoulders to relax downward. And just notice how you feel. We're going to talk about elements quite a bit in this practice. So starting out with it, noticing how the body feels. So is the body and mind, they can feel different ways, right? The body can feel one way, it can feel maybe stuck and heavy and sluggish, and the mind can be all over the place, going a mile a minute, or angry, or, or whatever it is. And it, the reverse is also true. The mind can be depressed and the body could feel restless like it needs to move. So just noticing the state of the body. What element is predominant in the state of the body right now? So is it earth and water? Is it heavy? Does it feel lethargic or stuck? Does the fire element resonate? Are you feeling inflamed or is there pain? Or does the air and ether quality, do the air and ether qualities resonate most? Is the body feeling light and mobile and like it can't st sit still, it needs to move around? So just noticing which element re resonates most and there might be a combination right it's not just black and white for life black gray is gray is the more common color <laughs> in life there's no black and white all or nothing yes no right depends on the day the situation the person etc circumstances so kind of figuring out where the body is and then what is needed to cultivate the opposite? So if you feel heavy and stuck, maybe more air needs to be brought into the system, more movement, more lightness. Or if you're feeling very light and like you can't sit still and restless, maybe you need more of that earth element, more of that grounding. If the body's cold, maybe you need to bring in more heat. The heat also helps with the mind. If the mind is in the white area, the mind is in the scattered, all over the place, anxious, it can help with that. And it can help with the body if the body's cold. Bringing that, earth, that air element down so just kind of make a mental note of what element would bring where the body is right now into better balance. Is it the earth, water, fire, or air and ether? And then doing the same thing with the mind. Where is the mind right now? Is it up in the ether, all over the place, wondering what's happening next? Is it getting annoyed by this long intro and, and let's get to it, let's move? Is it lethargic, depressed, kind of negative thinking? And then what qualities, what elements 
can you bring in to cultivate the opposite? To lift or lower or bring the system back into balance. So you can feel the way you'd like to feel. So you can feel clear and light and grounded and alert and connected and content. A spaciousness with groundedness. And then bring the attention to the breath. Watching the breath as it touches the nose, the chest expands, the belly releases, pause. And on the exhale, the belly comes in, the chest relaxes, the air leaves the nose, pause. Keep breathing like this, long and smooth, inviting the breath to lengthen, inviting the breath to smooth out. And keeping the mind on the breath. If it helps to do so, if the mind has a lot of air and ether, maybe counting helps to keep the mind focused on the breath as you're breathing. Is counting in your mind. Each time you inhale, imagine the crown of the head rising up towards the sky, keeping that length in the spine, lengthening the spine. As you exhale, the hips and the legs, the thighs, Get heavy and root downward. Take a few breaths like this, getting taller through the spine, keeping that length in the spine, that space between each vertebra, allowing prana to flow freely, and exhaling the hips ground down. That's your support. That's our foundation, our stability to be able to rise up. One more full round here. And when you've completed your last round, link to standing on your mat. So coming over to your mat, you'll want a wall or something to help with balance near you. We're going to stay with that same long, smooth breath. So taking the feet hip distance apart, the arms are by the sides, lengthening that spine. As you inhale, the arms raise up from the sides, reaching up overhead, whatever is comfortable for the shoulders and exhale, slowly lower the arms. So getting to the bottom of the movement with the bottom of the breath. Start the inhale, start the movement. Getting to the top of the movement with the top of the breath. Pause, exhale, lower the arms. Feel the arms moving through the air element. Inhale. Feel the chest expand, bringing in that fire element. Feel the chest rise, get larger. Exhale, lower, emptying out, releasing. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Taking the feet so that the big toes are touching, turn the right toes out of the diagonal, step the left foot forward. Hips are forward and feet are hip distance apart. So as you inhale, arms come up from the front. Exhale, hinge at the hips, belly in, fold. Hands can come to the thighs, shin or the earth. 
Inhale, bend the front knee, arms come up behind the head, opening the chest, shoulder blades together. Exhale, lower the arm, straighten the leg. We'll stay with that. Inhale, arms up. Keep that length in the spine. Exhale, belly in, hinge, fold. Inhale, bend the front knee, hands come behind the head or just out to the sides if that's more comfortable for shoulders. And exhale, lower the arms, straighten the leg. Again, inhale. Exhale, hinge. Inhale. Rise. Maybe lift the head if it's okay for the neck. Exhale, lower. Inhale, last round. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower the arms. Chance for balance play, always fun. So figure out how you'd like to get back. If you wanna hover, taking little steps, always hover, total control, right? Till you get your foot back, or if you wanna do it in one fell swoop, okay? I encourage you to play with that every time we have that transition. So taking the toes back together, Turn the left toes at a diagonal and turn the and take the right foot out in front. Hips are forward, feet are hip distance apart. If you just arrived, go ahead and take some conscious breath first, first and get yourself in the body. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hinge at the hips and fold. Again, hands can come to the thighs, shin, earth, whatever feels good. Inhale, come to standing, hands behind the head. Heart lifts, maybe the chin comes up, shoulder blades are wrapping together. Exhale, lower the arms, straighten the leg. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale. Exhale, lower the arms. Inhale. Exhale. Every exhale, focus on the belly. Inhale, every inhale, focus on the chest. Exhale. One more like this. Inhale. Keep the back heel rooted into the ground. Leg is long and straight and strong. Exhale, fold. Inhale. Exhale. Balance play. So figure out how you'd like to do it. One false, one big step or in little increments. And then getting near your wall or chair or whatever you have for stability, we're moving into warrior two where we get to fly if you'd like. So taking the feet together, turn the right toes out of the diagonal, left foot comes forward. As you inhale, bend the front knee, arms come up from the front. And as you exhale, hinge at the, at the hips, top of the body comes forward, Maybe the back leg lifts off the ground. 
Toes are pointed towards the ground, internally rotate the back leg. Drop the back leg, landing gracefully as you inhale, rise up. And exhale, lower the arms, straighten the leg. Need to move back a little. So, so this is a back bend, right? We're inhaling, we're exhaling. Let me just give you some variations. So as we inhale, and then we exhale, we could stay like this with the back foot on the ground and the arms by the sides. The arms can come out to the, I mean, arms out to the front. We can take the arms out to the side or roll the shoulders back and down and the hands can rest on the low back. Variations for the leg. You can have your foot on the ground. You can practice with taking it off the ground every once in a while. You can have a hand on something to help you if you really want to go higher with it and play with it. Um, you can take your leg all the way off the ground, right? Make yourself as high or low as you'd like. Body parallel with the earth. Foot is flexed if you're here and the toes are pointing to the earth. So they're internally rotated. The thighs internally rotated. So the, th the toes are at the earth. As you land, wherever you are, quietly without a sound, inhale and exhale. Okay, so those are options. Do what works for your body. Listen to your breath. The breath should always be long and smooth. So if it gets short and jagged, pull out of the challenge a little bit, okay? All right, inhale. Arms up. Exhale, fly. Leaning forward, hinging at the hips. This is a back bend in between the shoulder blades. It's coming forward. Inhale, rise back up. Beautiful variations. And exhale, lower the arms. Inhale, arms up, bend the knee. Exhale, fly. Keep the chest lifted. Inhale, land, rise. Exhale, lower the arms. So last one, I'd really like you to focus on the chest right in between the shoulder blades like somebody's pushing with their hand very gently in between the shoulder blades, giving a little support so that the heart lifts. It's right. Even when we're, we're bent over in warrior two, it's like the heart is coming forward. It's not like this, right? Last one. Inhale, arms up. Exhale. Hinge, fly, belly in, heart lifted, beautiful. Inhale, rise, long, smooth breaths. Arms reach up. Exhale, lower the arms. Lovely. Step the foot back together, the feet back together. Maybe shake it out a little. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So if you are taking, uh, well, first let's get set up. So left foot comes out at a diagonal, step the right foot forward, hips are forward, feet are hip distance apart. If you're taking the variation where you're flying with the arms by the ears, make sure the biceps are by the ears, the body's rotated towards the earth, the chest is lifted. It's a really hard, like it takes a lot of back strength to do that. You know, it's a challenge. So watch the breath. That's all I want you to do. Make sure the breath is enjoying that. It's an appropriate posture at this time. Maybe you do it for a breath. Maybe it's just to try it and you're like, yeah, next time I need to do something else. You play with it, right? And it's fine to push the boundaries. We don't know. We don't grow unless we push the boundaries. So if you're curious, try it. See what it feels like. But biceps are by the ears. Inhale, warrior one. 
Exhale, fly. Inhale, land soundlessly. Exhale, arms lower. Again, inhale. Exhale, fly. Beautiful. Inhale, rise. Really, really nice, everybody. Exhale, hands to the sides. Inhale. Let the movement fill the shape with the breath. Exhale, fold, focus on the belly, fly. Strength of the belly helps with the balance too. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower the arms. Stepping the feet back together. And having a balance partner or uh, helper with a wall or chair nearby, we're going to play with something just a little bit. So you can hold the wall or chair, whatever you like, and just take the leg that's on the outside, or you could use nothing, and just let it swing. <laughs> let it swing free with control, right? Uh, forward, back, the arms can get involved. Maybe exaggerate the arms, exaggerate the movement. Noticing how the balance changes when you exaggerate the movement, right? And then pause in the middle and take the leg out to the side and cross the body. So we're swinging the op, you know, in the perpendicular direction, I guess. And then let the arms come in if you'd like. This is your little counterbalance. Look like the Rockettes, everybody. <laughs> Turned into a dance class. <laughs> but just notice the strength in the standing leg, right? Yeah, push the boundary if you want. Go way out. See what that feels like to your center of gravity, right? Way out. Feel that. Oh, and then go ahead and land in the middle. Shake out the legs. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. But I'd like you to really notice, like that standing leg, all of this needed to be engaged. Bring it into the midline. Focus on the core. Engage the whole belly, right? Bring it all in, like, like you're wearing a corset, right? So that, that helps with our balance. So switch legs, whatever leg you just did, Put stand on the other leg, and then go forward and back first with control. And then get the arms in there. Maybe exaggerate the movement. This is similar to what we just did, right? Warrior two, fly, whoops, whoa, <laughs> turbulence. And when you're done with that, come to landing. And we'll switch with the other way. So going out to the side with the leg, then cross the body. Only being mindful, if this hurts at all, there should be no pain. So don't do it if it hurts. And then add the arms. Notice if this side feels different than the other side. Is the balance better, less stable? Feeling this standing leg, bring the hip in, engage, pull to the midline, engage the belly, and then coming back to center. and shake it out. Notice the breath. Calm the breath down. Maybe take a breath in through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Feel the energy ground down. All right, so all of that, what we just did, lots of air and space, lots of air and ether quality, all that movement, the leg is not supported or suspended. It's just out there in air. Our arms are too. What is happening? 
that's what we were focusing on, right? But if we were focusing on our standing leg, like really, okay, we're rooted down, feel the roots come out of the bottom of the foot. It's heavy, it's dense. And we were focusing on this while this is going all over the place. It's a different experience. Maybe we'll do that next time. But right now, bring that air quality down. So focus on the hips, feel the hips get heavy, little bend in the knees, slow the breath down. Take a few rounds here of breath, inhaling long and smooth, exhaling, energy's going down. Feel the hips get heavier, rooted into the earth. Slowing the pulse down, it got a little high. And then when you're ready, we'll continue on. So keeping the feet hip distance apart, as you inhale, the arms come up from the front. Exhale, gentle bend in the knees, fold. Hands can come to the thighs, shin or the earth. As you inhale, Arda, halfway lift. Arms can go out to the side or sweep behind the back, resting on the low back. Chin is tucked, so the back of the neck is long. Exhale, belly in full. It's a counter pose to what we were just doing. Inhale, rise. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up. Maybe look up. Exhale, fold. Belly in, knees soft, inhale Arda, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, belly in, release. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Belly, belly. Inhale, Arda, halfway lift. Keep the chin tucked so the back of the neck is long. Good. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower the arms. Do one more on your own. Following your breath, let the breath guide you. Chin tucked if you're in the Arda. Beautiful. Yeah, so you notice every class I'm going to have you do it on your own, right? I'll demonstrate it, I'll teach it. And then certain postures, it's like, now you do it on your own, right? Because it's really easy to become, you just listen and you're doing, but the brain is thinking about lunch and what you're going to do after. And, oh, this is fun. This feels good. Oh, what about calling so-and-so? Mine needs to stay here if you're going to do it, right? So it's the bringing it back. It's the bringing it back. It's kind of like a test, I guess, for the teachers out there. <laughs> so, <laughs> but it's keeping the brain engaged, right? What is my body doing now? So coming on to the floor, on the knees, if that's comfortable, you can be seated on the heels or standing on the knees, moving into some sun salutes. On the inhale, rise to standing on the knees. 
Maybe look up, opening the chest, bringing in the fire. Exhale, fold, release like water, grounding down. Inhale, chakra vakasana, left leg lifts, maybe the right arm. Exhale, down dog. Lift the hips to the sky, belly in. Stay here for a moment and walk the dog. So bend one knee, then the other. Heels are moving towards the earth. Chest is moving towards the thighs. Maybe it feels good to wiggle the hips a little. Bend both knees, take the chest towards the thighs. And then finding stillness. On the inhale, shift forward to plank position. Press the floor away. Head is in line with the upper back. So stay here breathing and notice what it feels like. Let your head drop down, just hanging. And how that feels in the body. And then lift the head, push the floor away. Lift the head. The chin is still tucked, so the back of the neck is long but the back of the head is in line with the rest of the spine in the upper back. And exhale, push back to down dog. Inhale, lower the left knee. Chakra Vakasana, right leg lifts, maybe the left arm. Toes are pointing towards the earth, long line of energy. Exhale, Vajrasana, hips towards heels, belly in. Inhale, rise to standing on the knees, arms reach. Exhale, come to seated or just lower the arms. Hands can be at prayer position at the chest. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, Vajrasana fold, release. Belly, belly. Inhale, chakra vakasana, left leg lifts. Maybe the arm. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank position. Your knees can be on or off the earth. I failed to say that the first time. So you could be like this, no problem. Push the earth away. You can also be on your elbows if this hurts the wrist. Please breathe. Push the floor away. Isometrically pull the wrists towards the toes and the toes, to toes towards the wrist. Hollow the belly, engage the core. Keep the head in alignment, puff the upper back. Exhale, down dog. You should have felt your belly fire up. Inhale, lower the left leg, right leg lifts, chakra vakasana. Exhale, Vajrasana fold. Inhale, rise. Scoop it up. Exhale, hands to chest. Inhale, two more rounds. Exhale, Vajrasana. If at any time you'd like to take a rest or the breath is not long and smooth, please just rest and breathe. Inhale, chakra vakasana, left leg. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank position. Listen for the change. You can stay in plank, knees on or off the earth, or allow the hips to scoop down the heart to come through the arms, maybe the chin lifts for upward dog. Again, these can be on or off the earth. If they're off the earth, engage your glutes, lift the thighs actively, the fronts of the thighs away from the earth. Exhale, down dog, belly in. Inhale, chakra vakasana, right leg lifts. Exhale, Vajrasana.
Inhale, rise, arms reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Long, smooth breaths, last round. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, Vajrasana fold, hips towards heels. Inhale, Chakra Vakasana, left leg lifts. Flex that foot like you're standing on the ground. Nice. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, shift forward to plank position or upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, Chakra Vakasana, right leg lifts. Exhale, Vajrasana. Inhale, rise to standing on the knees. Arms reach up. And exhale, lower the arms. Come to your back, uh, come to rest on your belly, actually, for a prone Shavasana, prone meaning on our bellies. So go ahead and lower down, make a little pillow with your two hands uh, or your hands just resting one hand on top of the other, maybe to rest the forehead on the hands so your nose doesn't get squished. Eyes can be closed. And allow the body to soften downward, resting here. We'll be here for one minute. So as you're resting here, take a scan of the body, noticing how the body feels, inviting the body to soften downward. And then just noticing what element at the beginning you felt you needed to bring the body into balance. Does the body feel differently now? Is there a different element that's more dominant? Is there more earth and water? Is there more fire? Is there more air and ether? Or does the body just feel good? When we get to the just feels good, like there's nothing where you feel it's too much of something, then that's an imbalanced state. It feels pain-free. light and strong, present, clear, a contentment. The mind's not spacing out or too heavy. And that's the goal of the yoga practice. One of the goals is when we're in that space where it's clear contentment and the body's in balance, the mind is in balance. That's when we are in connection, right? Connection to the self, the higher self, connection to the the universal consciousness, the divine, whatever you'd like to call it, something, be a great observer. And we can't feel that 
we don't have that connection when we're out of balance or really angry or anxious. It's a lack of connection. A deep, deep abiding that knows everything's fine. Everything will pass. It's all okay. Taking another long, sweet, sweet breath here. Long and smooth. The eyes can stay closed. We'll be moving into Shalabhasana, Ardha Shalabhasana. So taking the left arm straight out in front of you. Or out to the side if you prefer to do it like that. And the, the forehead can still rest on the one hand. The right hand is a little pillow. And before we start, just maybe wiggle the hips so that the feet are moving as far away from the body as possible. Really lengthen out the legs, keeping them equal, keeping the hips balanced and equal. So if there's an adjustment that needs to happen, go ahead and do that. The left arm is out straight. On the inhale, raise the left arm, maybe the right leg and the upper body, head and torso. You can press into the right arm. Try to use your back muscles. Exhale, lower. So we're really engaging the whole back chain of the body, right? The backs of the shoulders, back, all the way down to the glutes, the backs of the legs. On the next inhale, same thing, rise up, left arm, torso, head, right leg. You can also leave the leg on the ground. Exhale, lower. Breathe. Let the body release completely each time you lower down. We're going to do one more. Inhale. Reach the fingertips and the toes away from each other. Get taller. And exhale, lower down. Keeping that length, allow the body to settle back down. Bending the arm, the left arm, and placing the left hand under the forehead. The right hand comes out straight. So we'll do the same thing on the other side. Left leg, right arm. On the next inhale, rise, lift right arm, head, torso, left leg. Stretch away from each other, the hand and the foot. Exhale, lower, release, breathe. Again, inhale, rise. Feel the whole back of the body, the back, the glutes, the back of the legs. Exhale, lower. One more, focusing on the chest. Inhale, rise, feel the chest expand. And exhale, lower. Place the right hand on top of the left hand. Make a little pillow for yourself if you'd like and rest. Allow the breath to soften. Maybe smooth it out. Notice any sensations in the body. Be some extra warmth, tingling, whatever it is. Again, there should never, ever be pain for yoga. So we're going to move on. We'll be doing the full expression of the posture, Shalabhasana. So that means both arms up, both legs up, head, torso up. So basically, it's just the belly that's on the ground. 
So whatever you get off the ground, that's great. You can also just to choose to do a leg or both legs or a arm or both arms. So do whatever works best for you. You can also take the arms out to the sides. So take the arms out to the sides or if your arms are straight out in front of you, the biceps are by the ears. Chin stays tucked the whole time. So the back of the neck is long. If you'd like to continue, bring the arms out in front of you. Forehead could rest on the ground. Maybe make adjustments so the body is as long as possible. Hips are even. Shoulders are away from the ears. Eyes can be closed. And on the inhale, allow the breath to fill you up. The body rises, strength of the whole back body lifts. And exhale, lower. Release, soften. Take a few breaths here. So in between each repetition, allow the body to release completely. And then again, inhale, rise. Exhale, lower, release. Breathe. On your next inhale, Press yourself up to hands and knees for counter pose and exhale, bring the hips towards the heels. Release. So moving back and forth with your breath, eyes can be closed as you inhale, coming forward into tabletop. Maybe the heart comes forward, maybe look up a little bit if it feels okay for the neck and exhale. Chin comes towards the chest, roll back, the hips towards heels. Inhale, keep moving with your own breath. Inhale, you come forward, exhale, you go back. Feel free to take any movement you need, maybe bring the hips side to side, or whatever you need to release any tension from that posture. A few more rounds here, slowing it down. Enjoy this moment. Notice how the body feels. And taking one more round here. Whenever you're ready, coming up to a seated position, you can come to a chair or sit with some support behind your back, whatever feels good, wherever the body can be really comfortable so you don't have to think about it. making sure that the body's very comfortable. Like you could sit here for hours, no big deal. And feel free to close your eyes if you'd like. And let the body just settle downward from all the movement we just did of getting to a chair or arranging your seating, your seated position.
And then just observing the body, just noticing if there's been a shift since the beginning of the practice. What elements dominant in the body now? Or is there a balance going on? Do you feel balanced? The clear contentment, a spacious contentment. Alert. And we'll be doing a few rounds of Nadi Shodhana. So Nadi Shodhana is alternate nostril breathing. You can use the Murgi Mudra if you'd like. I'm going to explain this first. So you can take the pointer finger and middle finger down. The pinky is resting on the ring finger. So you'll be valving the nostrils with the ring finger and the thumb. The thumb would go at the base where the cartilage ends in the nose on the right nostril. And then you'll be using the ring finger on the left nostril where the cartilage ends. You can also just do this with your pointer finger and ring finger or this with your ring fingers. It does not matter. This is classical. The purpose is to valve the nostrils, right? So whatever is easiest for you today, do that. That's not the focus of this, okay? The way we'll do this is we'll inhale both nostrils long and smooth. We'll close the right, exhale left. Keep the right closed, inhale left. Release the right, close the left, exhale right. Inhale right. Close the right, exhale left. Inhale left. Close the left, exhale right. And inhale right. So that's what we're doing. We exhale, inhale through one nostril, exhale, inhale through the other nostril, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Okay. I'll walk you through this. And I'd like the attention, the attention should be on the nostril that's being breathed through. The mind wanders, bring it back to the nostril that's being breathed through. Relaxing the body. Inhale here through both nostrils. Close the right, exhale left. Long and smooth. Inhale left. Close the left, exhale right. Inhale right. That's one round. Close the right, exhale left. Inhale left. Close the left, exhale right. Inhale right. Close the right, exhale left. Inhale left. Close the left, exhale right. Inhale right. Close the right, exhale left. Inhale left, really gentle, soften. Close the left, exhale right. 
Inhale, right. Close the right, exhale, left. If you've had enough, just drop your hand, breathe. Inhale, left. Close the left, exhale, right. Inhale, right. Release the hand, exhale, both. Breathing here, eyes can be closed, just observe. Bringing the mind to the element of air and ether. Cultivating something that resembles or represents air and ether. Maybe it's visualizing or going from memory, a bird flying around or a kite in the sky, puffy clouds blowing through, watching them gracefully change shapes. Just bring that to mind for a moment. The air and ether qualities. Whatever brings that to you, bring that to mind. And then bringing to mind, gently releasing the air and ether, bring to mind the quality or the element of fire that warmth, that transformative energy. It can destroy and create. Think of the creation part of it. So bringing to mind that element of fire, maybe it's the sun or a candle or a campfire, feel that warmth, feel that energy. Maybe there's sharp crackling that goes along with it. Focus the mind on that for a moment. The element of fire. And gently releasing that object. And then bringing the mind to the qualities of earth and water. Green grasses, dewy grasses, mud, clay, bogs. Whatever it is that brings that wet moisture, that heaviness into the system. Like thinking about that. Just experiencing all of the elements. So bring that earth and water in. Keeping the mind focused on that object. And then gently release that. Realizing that all of these elements are here for our benefit. We are the elements. But when we focus on the element that's needed to create balance in the system, that's how we find that contentment and that spaciousness, that joy. Taking a little deeper inhale here and bringing the hands to the heart center. Palms can be touching or one hand on top of the other, the center of the chest. And exhaling, 
lowering the head to the heart, thanking yourself for practicing today. I thank you for practicing today. Namaste.